Welcome back. We are in what is going to be about the final 90 minutes or so of the 2013 Brian Mickelson Memorial Run. And it has been uh, it has been so exciting. The weather's been beautiful. A little cold when we first started out, but it has been great all the way around. Um, as we've mentioned uh, many, many times, we've got some great businesses, great people that help make this event possible. And I think our very own Brian James is with some of those people right now. Well, thank you, Pam, and there's so many people to thank for this fifth annual event, including one of our major sponsors, that is the Heart and Vascular Center of Northern Arizona. Joining us now, we're pleased to welcome Dr. Uh, Heilbrunn. Did I say it wrong? No, you said it perfect. Okay. Better than I did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Dr. Heilbrunn, thank you so much for joining us. I'm, I guess I'm not familiar with your name because you're fairly new to the area. I just came here from Pittsburgh, as you can see from my hat, Pittsburgh Steelers country, out in uh, August, and I'm very happy to be a participant uh, in this nice event. Um, yeah, I haven't been here that long. Well, you'll be, you'll be happy to know that Steelers fans are everywhere. So the, the Pittsburgh hat, we didn't automatically assume you were from Pittsburgh. The Steelers fans are just everywhere. But uh, originally from New York, if you could quickly, uh, uh, we are here in a marathon. The East Coast in the country really just suffered such a tragedy this year uh, involving a marathon. Uh, give, us, give us your thoughts being from New York. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that what happened this week um, is obviously a catastrophe. But the fact is that life goes on and we're making a statement here, a small statement in the country that events like this do go on. And we're not intimidated by actions of others that are inappropriate. Uh, I think the, the sentiment out in the East Coast is pretty much the same as it is here, which is, uh, you know, we all are thinking, we're reflecting about the catastrophe, what happened, and doing our best to, to uh, make a stand. Absolutely. Very well put. Now, uh, just behind the camera, uh, you'll find, uh, well, you inside the booth with uh, many, many people and colleagues of yours. Uh, what are you guys doing today? Well, we are uh, the major sponsor for this event. Heart and Vascular has done a lot of behind the scenes uh, work, and I can't take, well, maybe I should take the credit for it. Um, a lot of individuals here who've been organizing and involved, so I'm told within five years, they are helping out um, with, with the runners after the event in terms of therapy. Uh, giving out fluids, resuscitation of whatever means, uh, education. People are asking about uh, the merits of running, and uh, we're just, you know, participating in all levels of this event. Well, you, you, uh, you're not only a key sponsorship, but a key figure here on location on race day, and we appreciate uh, all you do. Well, it's, it's, it's nice to be here, and it's great weather, and it's just a fun day. And I, and I got to ask real quick, is this your first appearance on TV? No, this is not my first appearance on TV. Um, I've been on TV in Pittsburgh doing uh, charitable events, um, sometimes not charitable events, uh, but I have not been on TV for the wrong reasons. Okay, well, that's very good. And, of course, uh, I know you co-hosted or, or certainly were a major guest on a radio show, and it shows you need to get on the radio here as well. Well, perhaps I'll be having your job if Medicare keeps going. Uh, you never know. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, and thanks to the Heart and Vascular Center of Northern Arizona. Proud to sponsor this fifth annual Brian Mickelson Memorial Run. Thanks, Brian, and we do appreciate all the folks at the uh, Northern Arizona Heart and Vascular. It, uh, it, it, and, he, and he did do a great job. We're glad to have him here. Um, Northern Arizona Heart and Vascular is just one of uh, the many major sponsors um, of the event. The Brian Mickelson uh, Memorial Run is sponsored by Cottonwood Chamber, uh, Entire Care, Best Western, Hydro Flask, Solomon Power Aid. Um, it is also sponsored by Sunrite, Mountain View Villa Apartment Homes, uh, Northern Arizona Trail Runners, The Home Depot. And we want to especially thank our sponsors, Verde Ra Valley Rewards and the Red Rock Rewards, uh, a coupon mailer that is a good deal and a good deal more, Rice Accounting, Jackson Hewitt, your year-round tax expert, 855-304-1040 for a location near you. Our local Cottonwood Taco Bell invites you to live mass. Salt River Materials Group, their mission is to create opportunities and solutions with quality products and exceptional people, a huge part of the community here in the Verde Valley. Taylor Waste, service tailored to your needs, 649-2662. And as always, we are atop the tow truck from the Larry Green Collision Center and Larry Green Chevrolet. Call JD, the tow man, 300-3357. And I believe we are... Uh, just about ready to go back and uh brian has another one of the sponsors of the brian mickelson memorial run 2013 with him brian 
Thank you, Pam. And we're back with Susie Beach. One of my favorite people in the entire oh, city of Cottonwood. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Not only with the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce, but we mm -hmm. see your your weapon back here. Will you hold it up? This is uh, the official, the official photographer of the Brian Mickelson Memorial Marathon. And uh, well, you've been snapping photos all day. First of all, your thoughts on today? Oh, it's been wonderful. I think we have close to if we didn't go over 700, and that's a record. That would be, yeah. And in fact, Ryan, I think said pre-registered. Uh, I don't know what's high 500. So right. if we got, if we approach, something. Yeah, I think it <laughs> you was. know the numbers. Yeah. Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce beaches on locations. Uh, when can we see these photos? Well, the photos we take, I've got to process them all, and I'll try to get them up within this next week. But there's a lot of the birding festivals going on next weekend, so I'm butt deep in that too. Yeah, so. you need to get extra SD cards and, and get right. extra hard drive space. Right. Got, you got that's right, and just the time to process them all. Right, it's it's a busy time for you. Where will we find you online? Uh, beachesonlocation.com. All right, awesome. Well, and uh, Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce, certainly a Chamber of Commerce kind of day. <laughs> right, it's a gorgeous day. Right. And, and I know you knew Brian well. What do you What do you think he'd be saying right now, seeing this event growing the way it has, the he weather? Just, the way he'd it be is. humbled by it. Yeah. He was just an awesome man, and I actually didn't know Lynn until after Brian died. Okay. And then I got to know Lynn, and I helped start the marathon. Or take it on as the Ryan Mickelson Marathon as the city already had it. So Absolutely. And tell us what you do for the marathon. You do uh, a lot more than I just take... Do, I used to do a lot more, but this year I kind of was able to scale back a little bit. Other people kind of took up the okay. slack and um, I make the booklet and I I do... I'm trying to think of what I do. I do other things too. I, I used to make signs, but now we have them and we save them. Sure. We can do them again. So uh, I make print the tickets for the... For the um, uh, raffle right and so it's it's my role has scaled back except for being here to photograph <laughs> well we're glad to have you here for photographing this great event and uh, well uh, have they done a good job oh, the people they're, taking they're over awesomely for you? Okay. organized <laughs> and I give credit to Ryan Bigelow he's just awesome to work with he's been running all day and I know this is his baby he puts his heart and soul into this event and it shows and, and there's been so many runners here from out of town Phoenix Flagstaff yeah, friends Kingman. that came from Alaska well thanks for bringing them yeah. that they might get well, they were coming that. anyway and I said you run marathons was that gonna be busy Saturday and they said oh yeah so he's still out there on the half so awesome. she came back from the 10 so okay well that's great great way to recruit from Alaska that that's the farthest I've heard so far Probably. So. Probably. <laughs> but anyway so many people out of town so many kind words about the organization the beauty of the course the weather the of beauty course of the course is something we're not running on city streets here you know we're got beautiful country yeah yeah it does. That's you why know we all live here right it's exactly right the 10k weaves through Dead Horse Ranch State Park the right. half marathon and the full marathon they go up uh, towards Tuzi good and right. uh, it's old town. yeah just just a beautiful run out here today and uh, beautiful weather as well with a beautiful lady Susie oh, Beach thank, thank you, you so much for joining okay. us from the fifth annual Brian Mickelson Memorial Marathon Hey, thanks, Brian. And uh, Susie Beach is definitely a beautiful lady and has contributed um, immeasurably to the Cottonwood community, um, as have uh, many of our sponsors that are involved, many of, uh, of the folks. And as she indicated, Ryan Bigelow and his entire team have done a phenomenal job of uh, making this an event to be proud of. We know that there are a lot of... Uh, that there's a lot of competition out there for things to do on the weekend, but we know the Verde Valley is one of the best places in the world to be. Um, we hope the uh, the folks that were doing Pat's Run in Tempe have a successful, wonderful uh, event today as well. And uh, I believe that this weekend, more so than uh, maybe others, uh, everybody's doing it to show some solidarity and some strength after the uh, events of this last week. We are going to uh, visit with one of our many sponsors, one of the many wonderful people that have helped make this event and this broadcast uh, happen, and we will be right back with you in just a few minutes. From the Glen Canyon Dam to the corner sidewalk, Salt River Materials Group has helped build Arizona and the Southwest since 1959. Formerly known as Phoenix Cement and Salt River Sand and Rock, Salt River Materials Group supplies cement and aggregates to Northern Arizona. As a proud supporter of the Northern Arizona community, their customers, employees, and the environment, Salt River Materials Group believes in profitability the right way with integrity, accountability, and excellence. 